Do you ever feel like you're bothering people when you post content or when you send an email newsletter? Well, this is what one of my uh, workshop attendees said, is that they, they would like to be consistent in their communication with their audience, but they feel this kind of like shyness. Am I, am I taking people's time? Am I bothering them? Well, I don't know if you feel that way. Um, I know some of you probably do. Uh, and if you do, I want to tell you that I like having you here because that means you're a really considerate person. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't feel shy like you're bothering people when you're, when you're posting content or sharing content. And to be honest with you, I also feel that way before I post something, before I send an email newsletter, before I click record. I do feel like, mm, am, I, am I bothering people? Am I taking people's time? But because, because I've done this so many times, I've gotten used to that feeling and so I'm no longer, you know, I'm no longer letting that stop me. But I definitely had to deal with that feeling more in the early days. And I tell you, if you just go ahead and press record, go ahead and write, go ahead and press publish, you will get used to that feeling. It never goes away, though. That's the thing. It, it, there's this, this feeling of, okay, uh, am I bothering people? Is this going to go well? Is this, you know relevant to people it never really goes away but but you get used to it and you just continue onward uh so in other words the fear doesn't go away but we do get braver over time as we continue to communicate consistently so let me just give you a quick a few a few uh tips that might help you to to keep going to to do this right you have to first remember what people are going through when they surf social media, okay? So when you go on social media, like when you're watching this video, you don't watch this video because, you don't go on social media because you're trying to be efficient and save time, right? You go on, you go on social media because you're, you're, you're bored. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being bored. We all, we all have moments of boredom throughout the day and we just need something to pick us up. We just need to, you know, something to, so something fun, just for a moment. And so that's why people go on social media. So people are bored. And so when you post content that is of genuine interest to them, you're trying to educate them, maybe hopefully entertain them a little bit, that is a benefit to them. Okay, so people are bored, number one. People, number two, people are hurting. The, the reason why people follow you on social media or they're subscribed to your newsletter is because they're genuinely interested in what you have to say about that topic because they are on that journey of healing. They're on that journey of transformation. So people are hurting. Remember that. When you create content, you are there to try to be a bomb for their heart. Uh, you're trying to up, uplift their mind. You're, 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 you're trying to help. Okay, So people need help. People are hurting. That's why they're subscribed to whatever your channel is or whatever your newsletter is, number two. Number three is that people genuinely like you. Otherwise, they still would they wouldn't still be following you. Why would they still be following you if they didn't like you? Of course, they appreciate when they see you, so uh, they want to see you, you know, at, at the right frequency. And that's that's what I want to talk about next. If you're posting things at the right frequency, you should not be concerned that you're bothering people, because that's what they're expecting. So, if you, for example, if you have an email newsletter and you only send it like once every few months when you're trying to sell something, that's questionable because then you might actually be bothering people because that's whenever they hear from you, you're trying to get them to spend money. <laughs> that's not a good thing. So that's why you should be consistent in service, in entertaining, in connecting. And so when you're frequent enough and and whenever you show up, you are in that spirit of connection, delight, service, then of course people love hearing from you, okay? So think about that. So for email newsletters, for example, my recommended minimum is once a month. Actually, that would be my recommended rhythm. If people aren't expecting a weekly email from you, just send it once a month. If you send it less than once a month, they start forgetting why they even signed up and they'll start unsubscribing and they'll feel like you're bothering them. But if you send it once a month and in that once a month, you're sharing your best things of the previous month, you're not bothering them. You're giving them what they signed up for. Okay, social media, if you're showing up as often as other people, you're not showing up more often, like on Instagram, you're showing up once a day, totally acceptable. If you're showing up five or seven times a day on Instagram, 
way more often than, than other people. On Facebook, yeah, once a day, sometimes twice a day, but generally once a day on Facebook is acceptable. On, on YouTube, you know, one video a day is certainly acceptable, um, or even one video a week is, is fine. Um, so just notice what the frequency is of the people you follow. And if you just do it just like them, it's fine, right? So intentions are, 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 are good when you show up. Frequency is right. Then you, sh then you just know that it's your own feelings that you need to get used to. Remembering that you don't, the fear doesn't go away. Those feelings of bothering people don't go away because you're a considerate person. You just get braver about doing it, knowing that you've got the right intention of service and connection and that you're doing it at the right frequency. So I hope this helps. Those of you who don't know who I am, I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about stuff that helps you to make your business thrive uh, better and uh, while staying true to your heart and being of genuine service to others. So I hope this is helpful. I'm always open to your comments and your questions, and I'll see you next time. Take care.